I'm on a little bit late, minute late, but we will get started. Close those blinds, get rid of some glare, best we can. More purging to do. Hopefully we get through a lot today. We got a long way to go. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Talking through these cars. Kind of fun. Um, let people kind of come in here. I always wish, I wish they, they would, YouTube would post these comments. Like when we, when uh, this video posts to the channel. That people can see it because I always, you know, people are watching this and all of a sudden I'm like just answering a question and it's random, but it is what it is. We're going, we're going to start with Ford today, right? We got through Ferrari. I actually learned afterwards um, from our good friend Dumas. Dumas knows everything Hot Wheels related and he does some writing for, uh, for the Lamley, uh, for the Lamley blog. And then he does, he has his own YouTube channel and he's been on the Hot Wheels forums and he knows everything. And he told me that there were a couple of Ferraris that were pre-2009 new models. And so these are the new models I have. We'll uh, start adding to that. And I so I took out the 250 LM and the GTO and added them just to the collection. So this is where we are on the new models. And added GTO. Those were the new models, but those were like 2007, I think he said, or maybe 2008. And on the other side, down here, is the uh, LM, and that was a 2007 or six or something like that too. So uh, anyway, got that updated, got those into the proper cases. The new models, obviously, I'm just uh, I'm just putting them together for now, but later on, after we're done with the purge, I'll start separating them by year and then we get to see what we're missing that's going to be fun to collect california signing in mustang north carolina texas arnie's asking if it's the first time he's on an actual stream i can't answer that arnie that's up to you alex is on it's his first time it's always nice to have uh have people joining us this should be fun. We're doing it every, uh, we're doing, I think we'll, I got to see how the weekend schedule goes next week. I'm hoping to get at least one in. It's the Matchbox convention. I will do one for uh, for sure Sunday. I, can't, I don't know if I'll be doing one Saturday because it's going to be busy there, but we'll figure it all out. We'll figure it all out. Columbus, Ohio, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Canada, peak time. Nice to see a peak time. Local Utah boy, Africa, South Africa again. That's great. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, by the way, I'll tell you guys right out of the gate. Later on today, I'm posting another video. It's an interview I did with uh, Glenn Chow of Mini GT. You know, we did one uh, from Malaysia when we were out there back in May, and he was up here in Utah uh, a couple weeks ago. And so he and I filmed a video on the C8R Corvette. You may have seen the uh, hauler that I showed yesterday. He wanted to kind of break down some details, and you'll see the video. It'll post. It's scheduled to post, I think, at uh, 1 o'clock Pacific time, so a couple hours after this one ends. And, um, yeah, he talks through the C8R, what they're doing with IMSA, what they're doing with Chevrolet, what they're doing with Corvette. It's pretty exciting. So he show, And he shows all the details that go into these cars, which is really cool. So um, stay tuned for that. I love those videos. Glenn's really forthcoming, fun to chat with. So I wanted to give you guys lots of content because I got so much coming up. What do I got? A, a USL case, USK case, um, race day, Canyon Warriors, Fast and Furious, um, Boulevard, Basic Sneaks, Store Exclusives. You name it, we're doing it. Let me uh, move this. Let's start. All right, here we go. Okay, now the Fords are going to be interesting there is one casting that I'm curious about. We'll get to it. We're going to start with the Mustang. Well, no, we're actually going to start with the Thunderbird. That's easy enough because that is a new model from last year. This is perfect. This is why I like the new model collection because I really like this casting. I just don't know if I need more than the actual one, which was the De Deborah Hayes, the Matt and Deborah Hayes actual pink version. I just dig that. That's going in the new models without 
any issues whatsoever. So let's just add it now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself some room here. So that one's easy, done. Um, I'm really excited to build this hop, this new model collection from 2009 on. It's going to be so much fun. It's nice to refresh the collection because, I mean, not only clean it up, but I get the opportunity now to, like, pursue things that are older. And that's more fun than just the new stuff, I think. You know, I did the drag strip Demons. I was trying to get that collection and the vintage racing. Now I get to do the new models. All right, so the Mustangs almost naturally... I've created a new model collection of the Mustangs. And we'll walk through this. It's not entire, it's not entirely the case, but Hot Wheels tends to do the Mustangs in more of a stock deco to start, and then they go into the more custom styled graphics in subsequent years. So in this particular case, this is gonna be kind of easy because I've that's kind of I kind of like just the stock ones. So We'll start here. This one is not a new model. The new model is from several years ago, and I don't have it, so that's going to have to go into the new model collection. Hold on a second. I'm going to change my lighting. There we go. Um, so there we go. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll figure that out. So I, Well, actually, I think that one's going to go into the purge pile. It's nice, it's very much a stock look, but I've got premium versions of this casting that I'm happy with, I don't need it in basic. And I'll pursue the new models once we have them there. All right, these are easy, these are new models. So this is the 67 Shelby. It came in three colors, blue to start, then white, and then this green version, which is so cool, such a great, Great color combination. So those three go in the new model pile. I'll put these right over here. Keep moving down. Now here is the, which one is this? That doesn't even say. This is the 60, is this the 68? I believe, look at, I mean, this is one of the best basics ever done. The white with uh, the gold trim. I just love it. That was a new model. So that one goes in. Then it was recolored into more, you know, what you're used to with the red. And then it was a Zamac, but also still in that new model deco. So that one goes into the new model pile as well. This one was Fast and Furious. I don't need that. So that's going into the purge pile. This one's the Super Treasure Hunt this year, right? The purple one. It's the uh, 69 Shelby GT500. And this one got stock deco. The purple version. Do I have that here? Pulled it out for the Super Collection, but it's very similar, but still, I, I'm happy to just have the new models. And then, of course, I have now the Super Treasure Hunt in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. So I'll put the new models in. There were three colors of that one. All really nice. Dig that casting. So that goes in the new model pile. Now we have to talk about this one. That's going to be tough. So let's get to the new models right here. Just adding them to the new model collection. They'll get separated by year later. In fact, you know what? Let's just, because I like things orderly. Why don't I just do this? Remember, these are Creative Options thread organizers. I'm going to put the Thunderbird off to the side for just a minute. After we do the Mustangs. Okay. And then these, let's bag these up. And put them in the purge pile. All right, let me look. While I'm doing this, let me look at some of the comments here. Do I avoid... How do you avoid res restore yellowing car paint? Some of my collection that painted white got yellowing, not the plastic, but the car paint. Is it? Are they in the sun? I haven't had too much issue with that. I think partly because I keep them stored in these plastic containers and I keep them in a closet so they're out of the um, you know out of the sun. Then then again, I have my wall displays and the sun comes in here occasionally. So I haven't had an issue with that. That might be something you know, based on how if you, you know, it's good to keep them out of the elements per se like in a container or somehow protected. 
Um, but I don't have specific answers there. Maybe some of you guys have answers there. Can you buy the shelf you have in the background? Looks really nice. The display case, this back behind the storage, like this stuff. Sorry, I'll look glare here. Uh, yeah, that's Carney Displays. C-A-R-N-E-Y. Carney Displays, they do these. You can buy them. Um, you get several different kinds of backgrounds, clear, white, mirrored. They're awesome. All right, guys, let's talk about this Mustang. This is the 6970 Boss 302 right? This one started premium. This was actually designed by Junamai. It started premium and then it went to, and uh, for vintage racing when it first started. I think I've got it here. Yeah. Just pull out one of them here. This is one of the all-time great Mustang castings. All-time. Was my favorite until uh, the RLC Fox Body came out, but this one's still up there. Just an absolute stunner of a casting. Went premium. And I loved it. Let's put this back. And it's been in premium quite a bit. And this one has become kind of a legendary casting, one that people want to collect. So what I've done is I have all of the premiums separated. It's been in the RLC a couple of times, two or three times. It's been a convention car, I think, a couple of times. And I have all of those. These are all of the basic, quote-unquote basic. It's also in the Super Treasure Collection. I actually have two loose ones. So... Let's just say this. This one is going to go into the purge pile because I already have one. So this should be fun to bid on. Or giveaway. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Um, that might be a fun giveaway. We'll figure it out. But we already know that one goes into the purge pile because there's already one in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. Don't need two. I also have a carded one that I found years and years ago. So now I have to decide. I've got it through. This was the five pack. Here's the Zamac. I also have the Zamac. It looks pretty good. There's the cool classics. This was a special Mustang. This was a mystery car, which is really kind of ugly, to be honest. Um, it's not a huge collection. And, and I'm just, I guess my question for you guys, and answer this with me. Does this casting, does it, it may not be totally at the realm of like the 83, well, we could, we know it's not in the 83 Silverado, 510 sedan, five, or 510 coupe, 510 wagon, those kind of cars. But from the American cars, like there's a few that kind of get in this level. Would you say that this is close to that level? Would this be one that you might see me revisiting in the future as like one of these, just like, because it's just kind of an iconic clap? Iconic casting. I'll give you an, I'll give you a kind of how I think about this. If you guys remember, I've done a couple of these like legacy battle videos where I put like the Gasser versus I think it was the Silverado. I put the 510 against the R34, and I've got others that I want to do like the Combi. Um, I want to put like the Gasser versus the R34, so all that kind of stuff. Do you think this one merits that? Should I keep this cat? Should I keep this collection? As I'm talking about it, I'm convincing myself, yes. But you guys can tell me. I'm getting lots of yeses from you guys. Would you like to see this go into a legacy battle? Um, what would I put this up against in a legacy battle? That'd be some fun. That'd be some fun ones to do. 190E, for example. 190E's kind of had some cool stuff done. I don't know. All right, I'm going to put this in the collection. So let me, uh, I'll just quit quit debating where are we at here. Let me just uh, pull these out in order. Super's gone, but that's already in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. So someone will enjoy that extra. Yeah, it's not huge, right? It's just six cars in the basic collection. And then you add the premiums. I think it's worth it. I think we're, I think we got that one right. So... I think this one, Mustang-wise, oops, I got that, oh yeah, I think Mustang-wise, this one, oh, there's seven of them, there it is, into the collection it goes, so I think, yeah, I feel good about that, oops, I don't know what the next issue of that casting is going to be, but, uh, We'll figure that out. All right. Mustang. We'll continue on with the more modern Mustangs. 
this is also what I'm talking about. We've got basic, the, the first editions of these are always the cleanest and most stock. So this was 2016, 15, maybe 13 or 14. This was the same mix of the Datsun 510 Super Treasure Hunt, I think. That and the Porsche, the orange Porsche 934. So that's the first edition. That one's easy. This is also a first edition, the convertible. That one's easy. This is the recolor. That one's easy. So they go all into the first. There's another empty case. They all go into the first, uh, first editions case and then let's uh keep going over here let's move this forward over here move that up so you guys can see it okay so then and we keep going like i haven't collect i don't know if i have all of these but any of these stock mustangs i decided to keep so this is the uh gt350r that's a stock deco in that blue that was the recolor in red. So that goes into the new model pile, new model pile. This is the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Same thing. Stock deco looks great. Really like I just all of a sudden they started doing Mustangs without the with like equal wheels. I think they were just all of a sudden became great. Mustangs for so long had all the big wheels in the back and everything. And then just all of a sudden with this generation, Hot Wheels just started nailing it. These are all first editions. This is the GT500. This was a Super at one point too, right? And I think, I don't know if it's, did this one go premium for like Fast and Furious? Is that the same one? Let's look. I think I've got, I don't know, I put it away. Um, anyway, there they are. They go into the Super. So let's uh, into the new model pile. So let's do that. I'm going to move this back this way. And oh, wait, wrong one. Got to go over. Got to move these over here. So, trying to put this in the shot, but we got what we got here. So, it's a little bit of a close up. Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. And then we'll go to these others. So there's other Mustang new models I got to fill in here, quite a few. But you can see how limited my collection already was. Like, I've got some of these in certain places, but uh, there we go. That's the Mustang, or that's the new model Mustangs. Put aside, nice to see those. GT350 was the Fast and Furious. You guys can see too, like if you're a serious Mustang collector, you got, you know, Hot Wheels gives you a ton to do. But if you're more of a casual Mustang collector, then they also give you a nice amount because they're, you know, they give you these stock versions with recolors and you do not need more than that to be perfectly honest. It's kind of a perfect, you know, they'll do the customized Mustangs. Those are the new models I'm going to have to figure out, but. All right, couple others that we want to go to. Modern Classics, keeping this one. That was the 2007 Mustang. That's the one that just was released as a Falcon. In fact, since we're here, there it is. Let's add let's add this one to the Falcon pile too. We'll do that in a second here. Oh, hold on. Almost knocked something over. Um. Took me forever to get the new model GT350. Or surprised I'm missing a. I don't know what you, which ones. I'm missing quite a few actually. I've always been about keeping the collection as clean as possible. Here is the modern classics Fox body. This is the 90, 92 Ford Mustang. There's also the antifreeze version, which is far more rare. That I, or it's the more the olive. It's not antifreeze. It's an olive color. I've Temp been tempted at times to get it, but I'm just not I'm kind of just happy with this one And we have like the RLC versions, which I'm happy about so those go into the collection. So let's just add those right now Oh, and this finishes off this case Kind of cleanly too One Two so that can go that one's done Goes on to the shelf and then we have so we have to start a new case for the collection 
and you know what are the cars on the right oh these out of the way oh yeah let me get some they're just kind of some they're kind of some that didn't totally get into the collection that i found off to the side that i need to get to in fact there's a few that i need to show but let's do the falcon right now so this is in the oh this is an international i think this is in the k case maybe the j case i think it might be the k case and I'm starting, you know, these cross-section collections. Look, this is this has been sitting pretty much empty with the uh, Falcon Camaros. But we're going to be doing a Falcon collection. So we might as well, right now, since we're doing the Fords, let's uh, let's add this one. We'll get. We'll, I'll probably do these by release, like time of release. But for right now, let's. Uh, Let's just get it in there. So on these, you know, obviously you have the ID chase. There's a couple of Falcon Super Treasure Hunts, I think, that I think I have, but I may not have the basic counterparts because they're old. It was, well, there's one, there's the Toyota. Let's put that off to the side. All right, so yeah, so the, so the car's off to the side, good question. So one of them was, I've still debated was this golf i'm still debating golf so i put it off to the side that's the aston martin there's a recolor and i think the l case and i'm just not feeling golf although we'll be getting to getting to a goal another golf question soon here but we'll worry about that in a minute um this one's going to go in the purge pile this is the cool classic 67 camaro in this kind of satin blue and i forgot to do that so we'll put it into the purge pile i had it out for something else at one point uh, we already went through the Chevrolet the Camaros and so um, last weekend, but this one was one I needed to include. So that goes into the purge pile. That'll be a fun one. People, I think, will want that. And then here's the other two. So I don't collect this casting. I'm going to have to go back and find the first editions, but this is the Super Snake. I'll get the Super, the first editions of the Super Snake. This is an extra Zamac I have. I already have the Zamac in the collection pile. So that will go um into the purge pile and then there's this one i don't think this was a new model right this was just this was a faster than ever but it was done in with 10 spokes in some multi-packs not all some and this one's pretty tough to find i don't know if it's like on the high de highly desirable list yeah, I'm getting some uh, chosen beard is telling me. Um, I don't know if this is on a lot of people's want list, but I know it's not an easy one to find in the Miami Dolphins colors. And I just, this is one that it's like, I kind of like having it at the same time. I think there's a Mustang collector out there who's probably, you know, trying to fill in some gaps and might go, oh, that's one I need. So this is one that it's like, I'd consider keeping, but better in someone else. There's someone out there. There's probably several people out there that would that would have that would like having this more than I would. So I think it's just. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to make it sound like I'm some sort of like noble soul, but for the greater good, let's make sure this goes to someone else. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of water. Oh, that Lamley. He's so noble, selling these cars to other people. I hope you can sense my sarcasm in that comment. I, you don't get to see my face when I do that. All right. I think that puts us up to date on those little sidecars, but... Hold on a second. All right. Okay. This is easy. New model. New model. Then we'll get to the Escort. These were the two new models from last year, so they will go into the new model collection. Oh, which gives us our first chance to hype up Dayton Diecast again. We always got to do that. They're essentially, in a sense, <laughs> kind of sponsoring this. Um, so if you're new to this live stream or you haven't seen it, big issue here. I'll just kind of keep on promoting Dayton Diecast. You guys have to let me know who's bought uh, packs of these. Obviously, you have to have these uh, thread, these... Um, Creative Options Thread Organizers, which you can get at Hobby Lobby, um, Joanne, Amazon. There's probably a few other places just to look it up. Creative Options Thread Organizer. You look it up that way, you'll find it. Creative Options Thread Organizer. And I have a link 
to the Joanne sales down below in the description. But they always have this one slot here for anything that's oversized and great if you have something oversized. But for those of us who don't really have them, Dayton Diecast has created these incredible, incredibly cool um, inserts. So you just you went through a whole process getting these designed and they basically lock onto the top and the bottom and they create a perfect divider so you can now add four cars that you couldn't before to each case and that adds up so quickly especially when you're when you are limited in space like I am so I just love these so much and I love supporting Dayton Diecast's intuition and and uh and kind of self-motivation to do that. So there it is, DaytonDieCast.com. He's got the packs. You can buy them. You can buy singles, five five packs, 20 packs, something like that, multiples. Totally, totally worth it. And he made these. So anyway, so let's get there. That's the old hype. We'll maybe we'll talk about it again. So I've got my dividers, and I'm adding them as we go to create all this space. Ford Escort. <clears throat> all right. First edition, right? I believe this was the first edition, and then it moved to premium. So that's easy enough. And then it, so that was actually the Fast and Furious issue, but it also is the uh, stock version, right? So that's easy. Then we have the recolor, which is a stock version of that Racing Ford Escort, also easy. So those go into the first edition collection. I'm going to take, this is a multi pack, which is a recolor of the first edition, but officially not a first edition. But I'm going to keep that one. It's the others that I'm debating. Love the casting, but am happy with I'm happy with the premium versions of these. You get these like repeat Fast and Furious versions. Then we've got the Castrol are cool. Ninja Stay and Keep the whole collection. Um I'm gonna look over here. The red Castrol is hard to get. Looking out here. Given the volume of cars and the portraits, would you sell them on whatnot auction style or would you just list them in the store? Um, good question, Porus. Some will be auctioned, those that I think will be more highly desirable so that the person who wants it the most can get it. Some will be in the store and some will be given away. I'll kind of determine that as we go. Um... Keep the Castrol authentic racing livery. Okay. So I get that. I do like that one. Because it really does kind of fit the style of the car. Then again, I've got... Where is it? It's been in premium for Fast and Furious, obviously. And then it's been in... It's in one of those car culture mixes. I do like the Castrol. It is a nice deco. eBay store. No, I'm going to be selling these on whatnot. Okay, I'm getting a lot of like, I'm not going to keep them all. I'm just not. This is the, the Escort is the perfect example of purging. So these are easy because they go in the new models. This one I like because it's essentially stock. So that one goes. Because I've already got one in the collection, I think I can add the Castrols because I... I don't know. Even the Castrols I'm debating because people like them. When is the whatnot sale? That's to be determined, guys, because I have something really cool that I want everyone who buys from this sale. Um, and I had it's been slightly delayed. So I was going to start the sale soon. I will start them soon. It might probably towards the end of July. Um, I just have to make sure that uh, this one thing that has to get fixed gets fixed. All right, keep those you have out in the orange ID. No, if I'm getting rid of the orange, I'm getting rid of the ID chase too. Chosen Beard, if you are debating, I'd say, yeah. I, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. First editions, that's easy. Done. Done, they're put away. Starting a new regular collection because we filled up the last bin, so or the last case, so that goes there. 
purging the rest, my friends. Purging the rest. It's just one of those that... And this one is in the treasure hunt collection. So... So even the castrels are going to go. I like, sometimes you'll convince me. Sometimes I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. So we're good here. I'm happy with. I'm happy with this decision. This is all about making space, and there's probably more cars that are coming out that I'd be happier to keep. I really love this casting. I mean, it's a brilliant casting. It's so well done. Oh, they did the one in, um, in the diorama set, too. I feel like I've got a good collection with the first editions and, uh, and the premiums. I think, I'm, I think I'm in good shape, so... I'm doing this. I'm looking at your comments. I wouldn't keep the ID car. No. No, I have... Um, I don't know. Should I... I don't know if I've been keeping all the ID chases. I'm just not attached to them. I have all the ID, the regular ID releases, and then there's a couple of ID chases that I kept. like For now, I mean, I'll debate it. But, again, I just think there's someone out there who would want it more than I do. And I can't, you know, I have, uh, I have other collections, like, I just, I ha you, not all these decisions will be easy, I'll basically, I'll put it that way. I was a completist on this casting, and when I'm not, and all of a sudden when I'm not, it just, it feels good to, feels good to uh, get rid of them. I'll debate the idea. I did that with the 620 yesterday. Like, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. All right, let's turn this around. Start doing Ford GT. Where are we at time-wise? Oh, we're halfway through. See, this goes so slow. All right. Okay, we'll start with the... Uh, which one is this? The GT40 Mark IV. First edition, right? First edition, so that's easy. Done. Now let's put those in the in the pile. One, two. All right, the Gulf. We got to debate these. So we're still going to debate the Gulfs. I'm not totally there yet, but I'll put them off to the side with the other. We have the two, the blue and the recolor. Maybe with the golf collection, I could skip the recolors and just go with the first golfs. That's a possibility. I'll put that off to the side for now. Um, Jet says I should keep the ID chases. I don't think I have all the ID chases, Jet. I mean, I'll consider that. You're right. It would be a cool video. Um, Drift Addicts, Escort, definitely a popular one over here. Yeah, it, I know it's very popular. I assume you're in the UK or in Europe. Um, Arnie says, good idea. Do only the blue gulfs. You know what? I'll put that off to the side. I'll consider that. We'll get rid of the recolors to start. I... I just can't do it. I can't do it. And then there was this uh, five-pack version I have no attachment to. I'm really hoping to see this one go premium. It's such an awesome casting. Love the first editions. Obviously, having the Gulf is is kind of iconic, too. So those are going to get done. Easy enough, first edition. Also was a super treasure hunt. This casting's nice. Not great. But so that first edition, let's just put that off. Let's just get that put away already. Boom. Now, my thinking with the GT is, you notice I don't have any of the old GT40 casting that Hot Wheels did. I do have a couple premium, right? It's been 
an RLC and you know, there was the golf in RLC and then I've got that racing one. I'm good. I'm not a big fan of that casting, to be honest. I'm not, I don't really like it. So the GT, I kind of like, like this one I don't care about. This one's in the Zamat collection, so I'm good there. There was the recolor of that one. I'm So I'm debating, like, do I want to keep, am I just happy with the first edition? And then do I, but I, you know, I like these, I like these like more stock looking versions. And if we did that, I'll put this down here. So we put, these are going to go to the purge pile. So if we did stock, non, you know, like just these simple versions with the stripes, they're kind of cool together, right? Oh, that one's, that one can go. That's the, is that Forza or something? I don't remember. I don't remember what that one was. Anyway, that's done. I just want those that look stock. So that one's out because again it's not the it's a it's a custom stripe so if i did that i have there's these five i kind of want to keep those what do you think i think i'm going to keep those the orange one is gross hey <laughs> I, I don't totally agree but i get what you're saying Kind of good on these. I think uh, I think I'll keep those five, and then if they put out others, that'll be fun to add to the collection. So let's add those. Of those colors, I really like this one. So let me add them. I'm just doing it off camera. Sorry, guys. I'll show it to you there. There they are, with glare into the regular collection. Okay. So all these get purged. Let's talk about this one. This, I love the GT race. What do they call this one? Ford GT race. That's a new model. So that's easy. That's the recolor. So that's easy. I actually really like these, but I'm not, whew, that's a good casting though. I love the EcoBoost. There was this one. Ooh, Ninja's yelling at me to keep it. Indonesia's here. White was a Walmart series. Yeah, that's right. Looking at your comments, I'm going back. Um, yeah, I kind of like these racing, the EcoBoost ones here. So there was red, or there was orange, and then there was the red recolor, and then the Kroger. Right? This is the Kroger. Yeah, I like him. So first editions, these stay. This one goes. Don't care about that one. That was the five-pack version. What about the Borla? That looks good too, doesn't it? That looks really good. Yeah, I'm keeping... I, I, I like this collection. I really like... I'm a fan of the GTs. I really like, like the mini GT uh, versions of these. I'm a big fan of too. Keep those, so... I'll keep the Hot Wheels version. It's a really brilliant casting. It's a it's a Rio Asada casting. And it's I mean it's better than the other GT, I think. Because even the flying bus buttresses are there. Like it's just a good casting. Obviously there's a couple premium versions too. Isn't there a Castro version of that? Yeah. And then the Le Mans style. Get rid of these. I'll put these away. I like that car. I don't need the generic deco here. I don't need that one. So I'll get rid of it. I don't need to be a completionist on that casting. So let's bag. Look, we're already done here. Okay. Another empty case. Let me get the next case. Because now we'll bag those up. Are we still on Ford? Let's see. Chevy, Chevy. Yep. Got a couple more Fords. Let me bag these up. Oh, there's another escort to get rid of. <laughs> All right, let's bag up the GTs real quick. And I'll get your comments here. Keep all except that ugly one. Keep the blue interior one. Borla works. There's gotta be more Fords. Yeah, there's a few more. 
But again, guys, like you can see, like I have to, you got to really sell me for me to keep some of these, but I'm, I'm excited. I think again, I'm just, and I'm just blabbering on right now. Um, I think there are like, there are kind of ways, like I said, it'll be fun to be pursuing the new models. And I think just having that cross section of castings will give me enough to cover when I, you know, I think about content and I think about my collection. You know, and uh, and I mean, both are important. I love I love giving you guys interesting videos. I love being able to go into the collection. And go, okay, how what does this car that's brand new remind me of? Oh, it's this one. I can go pull it out. And I just like I don't need to show like if a particular casting is released, I don't have to go. Okay, here's all of them. But I can just say here's some of them with a few exceptions like the 55 Bel Air and the 83 Silverado and that Mustang. All right, let's get rid of that escort too. It's gonna fall right out. I must have put that because you know, I run out of space and then I have these little, you know, try and keep myself organized, but. Whoop. Those repeats of the Fast and the Furious. I'll have to debate that when we get to the R34, right? Um, okay. <laughs> you guys have to know what's going on here, right? You just know what's going on here. I'm keeping all of them. This is like the Greenwood. The Torino is a, has a special, special place in my heart. I don't like all these decos, but I love this casting. And it would be like, you know, throwing my kids out. I can't do it. Got to keep all the Torinos. We'll get this. We'll we'll go through these if you want to see them all. I've got the entire collection. Obviously, the RLCs and the premiums. I think the only premium that is was one Fast and Furious in the same deco, but I think all the rest are here. So we do have some to go to first editions. One. Two. This is actually three because there's this Walmart Hot Wheels version. And then the regular... Walmart, before they started doing Xamax, had other special editions they did. So there's that. But this is also a, considered a new model because they did the special Walmart edition with the Hot Wheels on the hood. And there was one year where Hot Wheels did an extension of the, for, of the new models with Kroger in those foil pack mystery cars. So this is also a new model. It's in the same deco. And so the light blue Torino, so there are four colors, I'll move it down here, of the Torino new model. And there was like, there was, the, if you remember the RX-7 new model, there was, it was black and blue, and then they did a special white version, which was a recolor. We'll get to those, and we'll put the Kroger, but they did the, they're called like Speed something, I think. And um, that year they did, I think there was also a 70, a 1970 Camaro that they put in that. So, all timer for me right there, that green Torino. In it goes. Recolor in red is also nice. There's your regular blue. There's your Walmart blue. And here's your Kroger light blue. That's a, oh, that's that Kroger light blue. That's a sneaky little hard one to get right there. All right. Now let's go through the uh, Torino collection. So what I'm going to do, oh, we're going to be starting a new case here in a minute too, but let's start. All of these will go in. So I'm going to, let's see if I can do this right. Okay, so now we go green with the all white wheel. Then there was the green with the black spokes. That was a variation. Then there was the recolor in yellow with the J5 wheel. Love that one. And then there was the wheel variation with the MC5. I'll keep that one. Then there was the recolor that was supposed to be a Kroger exclusive and it ended up showing all over the place. It was there. Then there was the K and N, which is also a Super Treasure Hunt. That's in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. 
Then there was the KN recolor. And that case is done. Seal it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've screwed up. Those are all new models. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Got all dramatic and you guys were probably warning me that I had that all wrong. Pull them out. Pull them out. I even, yep, I even got the, uh, all right. Screwed up, screwed up, screwed up, screwed up, screwed up. All right. Were you guys telling me this and I wasn't noticing? New models, the Torinos, I put them in the wrong case. So right there. So let's get these new models. Don't think I've done that before, right? But so we're almost done with this new model case right there. Okay, done. Now let's, okay, this makes more sense. Okay. Torino put pizza rolls. Don't you guys make fun of my beloved Torino? I actually really like the black grill on that. I know it's not realistic, but looks cool. All right, K&N, K&N, first Fast and Furious edition. This is actually really clean, really pretty. Then the Mylodon, how do you say that? Is it Mylodon? I don't remember. Two of those. Then the second Fast and Furious with the PR5s. So we fill that up and then we get to turn that case around. Right, there's the nine pack exclusives. Move that up a little bit higher. Kind of a gold color than the purple one. I think the purple one was kind of hard to find. Or maybe it was the blue one, I don't remember. I just needed to make sure I had them. So we're the three of those colors. Then I think this was just a mainline version. And then the first Torino Zamac. Right there. Then the recolor, oops. Let me just close this up real quick while we turn this around and we continue. Those Torinos, okay. Okay, the, here, let me recolor. Is that a recolor too? I think it was, yeah. Might have been a, I don't know, this was a Target exclusive, I think. Then there was another Fast and Furious with the MC5s. Time for a Dayton die cast. Got that right there. This might have been a Target exclusive. I don't remember. Add that. Maybe recall. I don't know. That, might have, that was a mainline release. And then another Fast and Furious release. There we go. Okay. Torino. Whew. Done. And move that off to the side. Gotta love the Torino. Okay, a couple more Fords. The Galaxy. Um, this treasure hunt I am not attached to. There was the Super Treasure Hunts in the collection. The Premium Galaxies. I think that the Premium Galaxy. Sorry, I'm walking away, but. The Premium Galaxy is an all-timer. Like, it's up there for me as one of the best ever. And uh, Juno Mai designed this one. I just love the premiums. You can see Amai Motors on that. This is from Vintage Racing. 
And uh, I love that casting. But I'm not attached to it in basic. So, so we have the Super. This one, I mean, it's a really nice regular treasure hunt because it's done in kind of a vintage racing deco. But I'm happy just having the premium. So that one goes into the purge pile. There it is. When am I doing the What Not Purge show? <clears throat> Don't know. In a couple weekends, probably. Because I'm waiting on a couple things. I just can't do it. I My hand was forced. I was going to start doing it this weekend, but I, I can't start it until I have the things I want to give those that buy. All right, guys. Keep or go. Keep or go. It's got the metal base. I think I will keep it. From the cool classics, Far Out Galaxy. Got Rob Mathis' name on there. Keep, keep, keep. I'll keep it. I just see the basic Galaxy kind of moving in a direction that I'm not going to care about it. So, but when it goes premium, I'm always in. I'm, the premium, it's one of the most amazing collections there is all right there's a golf version i'm just looking at them right here golf there was the team transport version i mean here look you have those vintage racings and then i mean look at these they're amazing the premium galaxy i'm just that's all i need look at this one It's perfect. I mean, it is perfect. I think this is one of the most underrated Hot Wheels castings ever. Ever. Turn this off to the side. I'm trying to think if there's others here that I'm missing. I mean, I could show. I've done the, I've done the Galaxy. There's the three... See, now I'm just nerding out. Now I'm just trying to... This is from that racing series. Should do another Galaxy video when they do another one. I mean, my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Let's just geek out for a minute. They're like, no, we want to purge. One, two, three. There's an RLC. We won't get that out. Check this. Check this. One. Two. Three. Those are the vintage racings. Check out how awesome the decos are on that one. Four. Five. Six. What's missing? I'm trying to think. They're just the best. The best. And here I'm doing this. I'm hyping these after I purged them. <laughs> um, trying to think if there's any. All right. I think that's it, but I'll just put these off to the side. Here, I'll put them in my little, my little Wiz Calistro uh, parking lot over here. And then we'll get to it. We got a few more minutes. We got five minutes. We can start on these Hondas. See, this is what happens. I'm just showing you how I do it. Sometimes you just, you're going through the collection and you just go, oh, you just kind of get a, Strong appreciation for something. You just want to look at them. And that galaxy is just... Those premium galaxies are just up there for me. All right. Sorry, guys. Honda. Let's get started on the Honda. And then we'll um, we'll obviously end at that point. We won't do all the Hondas. There's quite a few. People are already talking about the CRX. This is technically the first edition. I don't need it because it's not a... Or I'm, 
I don't need to put it in the put it in the first edition because it was in that whatever line. Not attached to this. This is a Rio Asada design. Something that he came back and modified later because he used all these different pieces to try and do the breaks and it didn't come out how he had intended. That's how he talked about it. This is the cool classics. I'm not attached to these. Then here's the modified version of it. Feel like I should keep one for so I think I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one because this one um represents, right? Represents the the casting. And I think when I do Hondas, I should always have one of these. So I'll put that in the collection. And I'll keep this one for the modified version. So those two will stay. I just feel like I have to, but I don't need the cool classic. So that one's gonna go. Boom. There it is. I'm not a fan of the casting, but so let me put those in the collection real quick. Just one of each version of that casting's half time. Happy with that. I kind of like the deco on that black one. Kind of a Rasta style. All right. Um, oh, upset at Wimbledon. Novak goes down. All right. Um, okay. First edition, easy enough. First edition variation, super rare. This one came out of uh, David Tilly actually got this for me. Uh, he doesn't even collect Hot Wheels, but he got that for me. I might get rid of that one if someone wants it. It was a 10-pack exclusive. I think I'm just happy with the other ones. First edition, happy to have that one. This one's clean, but I think I'm good with just the first editions on those. Some of that JDM deco on it. And then this is the recent release. And there'll be a recolor. I think I'm happy with just the first editions. I've been kind of doing that with some of the Hondas. So keep the one that your friend gave me. You know, he didn't really give it to me. I bought it. I had him go look for it. He didn't, he does not care about Hot Wheels. A gift is a gift, and I've got gifts from David Tilly, but he's the Lee of Lamley. I just told him to go out and buy him. Um so we're going to add that to the first edition. In fact, we'll just finish off the first editions. Here's the first edition Honda Odyssey, and here is the first edition uh, Turbo. I think there's a recolor on this one that I might have pulled out at some point. I need to find it again or get it. There was a black version of the, um, of the City Turbo. So I'll add that to the collection. So let's get, let's get uh, the first editions going. I think someone will rather have that variation. So one, two, done. All right, that's that new model collection is done. So we've got to start a new case for those. So Honda Odyssey and City Turbo. And let's bag up. bag up these other Hondas real quick. Oh, and here's another Honda that I'm going to bag up. The SI. It's an older one. There was like a 2005 or 6 version of that casting that like a faster than ever that maybe one day I'll get my hands on just to have a version of that casting, but these will go. Best was the Busy Moto. Absolutely, but that's premium. That's in the car culture collection, so I'm good there. All right, that's a that's going to be a fun one, watching people understand how rare that is. So that goes into the pile. This is empty. Let's talk, let's talk Honda real quick. Another empty case. Nice to have it. Let's see where we're at with Honda for the last couple minutes before I sign off. All right. Oh yeah, I think we uh, start next time, because check this out. So, this is a busy collection. Civic, not the first edition, but it was 2005, it's pre-2009. There's this one, really dig that casting. Um, 
first editions. We'll get to those first editions. I really like this casting in general. Just happy to have it. Then we get to the S2000. Let's start a little preview here. Is, does the S2000, of which I also have the complete collection, including like, I don't have, there's certain, there's certain variations, but I have like, um, well, we'll get to that. I have, I think the S2000 hits that. I think it's really close to the, it's in that same as like the 69 Mustang Boss. Like, I think it, I think it gets there in terms of a good collection to have as complete as Prelude. Here's these Civics. I think I might be cleaning this up a little bit. I think I just want stock, but we'll talk about that next week. So that means this one might go, this one might go, this one might go. I already have that, another one in the Zamac collection. There's another Zamac that just got added. You know, this one's kind of stock. I don't know. We're going to be talking about this. That's new. We'll talk about this one. There's a new store exclusive of this one. Here's this. They, these stay, of course. But I'm like, I don't think I'll add the neon speeders. So that one goes. And then, like, Honda continues. And then we'll sign off here. Quite a bit. The S2000, that's a rare variation. You know, as we go on and on and on and on and on, and then, in, then we hit Jag. So <clears throat> um, we'll talk Honda next week. There'll be a lot of discussion. That S2000 will definitely discuss, a lot to discuss there. And uh, yes, we've just gotten started on Honda. Tons. That will be a big one. That will, I want to debate with you guys. Um, this casting. I love it. I don't know if I want all of it. I just, I'm really happy with the more stock like versions. And so we'll see. We'll see where we go with those. All right, guys, that's where we're at. Stay tuned in about, oh, a couple hours. The mini GT uh, interview with Glenn Chow will drop. You'll definitely want to watch that. Um, should have something for match. Oh, answer me this, guys. This, and then we'll end up. I, I legitimately want to know. Because I want to do a Matchbox Monday. Because it's the gathering week, I can do some, like... I can do a very standard, like, unboxing and stuff, which is new stuff. But it's I think it's been seen. I definitely will do a video on it soon. But I was thinking of doing something on either the gathering exclusives or my Matchbox prototype collection. Some of the prototypes that I have that I bought at auction at the gathering because uh, Mattel will donate those and I have a few of them. Would you rather have my like top five gathering exclusives or a showcase of my Matchbox prototypes? So just say prototypes or gathering. We've got a couple of prototypes. We've got a gathering. Prototype, prototype, Ooh, a lot of prototypes coming in. A lot of prototypes. There's another gathering, prototypes. We'll be doing a lot of gathering stuff next week. I'll be doing a uh, What Not show. You want to bookmark that, and then I will be live streaming the 2024 preview Saturday night. Thanks, Chosen Beard. All right, I'm getting a lot of prototypes, so maybe I'll do that. Um... NSX sneak peek, please. I have heard that the NSX won't ship right away. We buy it on Tuesday, so I don't and I don't have it to preview. I do have some footage from the other previews. Do gathering after the gathering. I could, I could, if I can get my hands on the gathering models, because I won't be there. Um, we'll see. All right, I think I'll do a prototype for Matchbox Monday. Then we've got unboxings. I'm hoping to do Canyon Warriors from a Canyon. All kinds of cool stuff. Thank you, everybody. I'm enjoying doing this. I will be back. I will schedule these live streams. I'm going to try and do at least one next weekend. I know it's weird with Matchbox. Um, so I'll try and do two because we got a lot of work to do, but we'll see. Thank you, everybody. Bye.